Hey, look, I'll make up for the fact that the other two spoke for really longer than they should have. I'm going to be very short. Building a body of evidence uh, of marine debris is an issue that has been spoken to here in terms of education, in terms of coordination. I have written down cooperation, communication, coordination between groups, politically, NGOs, um, culturally speaking between groups and understanding. Um, our, our problems were based around gear being disposed, um, tagging gear, uh, involving fishers in that process, which is one of the, the major um, stakeholders in this whole issue. We, we came up with a, a brief list of, of um, needs, and as again, and I say many of them have been spoken to. Technology, um, how do we use technology and create new technology um, using it with the fishers, with the manufacturers, the industry, um, cataloging this data that we pull together through new technologies, um, providing that information to um, the public um, as well as the stakeholders. Um, one of the things that was mentioned was um, in building a body of evidence, you've got to know who's being affected by the ghost gear. That would be um, getting a good database on the animals being entangled. Um, it can go and it can go into microplastics and things like that, the issues of animals ingesting this stuff. But certainly, um, if you're finding entangled animals, are they alive or dead? What kind are they? That's a database of itself. Um, proper disposal of fishing gear, um, educating your stakeholders on that, looking at new types of fishing gear, um, creating the technology and managing this change to a new gear, which is going on around the world. Um, some of that is creating new problems. We were speaking about um, the fact that in New England we have breakaway um, lobster traps and lines on lobster traps. Here, I guess it's um, breakaway line uh, for other purposes, but the, or, you know, maybe that was Scotland actually. Um, you've got a breakaway line, now when it breaks away, does that then become a new hazard for swimming uh, marine mammals and fish? Um, bottom line to all of that, you need money to do any of these things, and so finding the proper funding sources. Um, and that basically covers the, uh, the very short list that we put together. Thank you.